Lynn on the floor, exhibit floor, actually, of the 2011 Women in Aviation Conference, the 22nd annual. Uh, we have to ask, what brings you here? Well, we were lucky enough to apply for a Garrett A. Morgan Technology and Transportation Education Program grant, and we won it. And apparently only 10 of these awards are given nationally, and because we're the first collaboration to include a small airport, which my brother and I own, we received the grant. So now we wanted to take the opportunity to come to an event where there were people who understood aviation, people who understand the need for STEM being taught more in depth, and that the awareness to young women of aviation as a transportation, that they have lots of career choices, not just pilots. So we came here to send the message out. For those of our, in our viewing audience that may not be familiar with STEM, what's that about? STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math, and they are the core curricula that the United States appears to be falling behind other countries in, and it's not good. And finally, uh, the government, as well as institutions on their own, are going out creating charter schools and trying to come up with programs such as the Garrett Morgan Grant to get people interested at an earlier age and to understand that the curriculum is difficult. Uh, to stick with it in college, uh, not everybody wants to do that, not everybody has the brain power to do that, and so it's our job to try to inspire people at a younger and younger age to look at those STEM programs and see if they just might want to accept the challenge and then to assist them. We need to mentor them and help them get through the hard spots. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Now, what's the plan? The plan is to run 20 different programs between now, which we've already started them, until September of this year. You know, everything from building an airplane to ground school scholarships to internships, shadowing, new things are even popping up. One of the high school teachers that we're working with knew somebody in the Girl Scouts, said they're doing a Johnson & Johnson Women in Science and, Tech and Engineering program. Would you like to join us? Now in May, it's going to be Johnson & Johnson's WISE Exploration Day with GAMTEP. So all of these programs, when they're finished, we have an evaluation process. We're evaluating the workshops individually, and we're evaluating whether all the programs we said we were going to do, whether we accomplished it, and what the results were. If all that is positive, we hope that we'll be able to move this model to other parts of the country instead of staying fragmented with EAA do one thing, each group does something and it, it contributes. The collaborative allows us to take the best of what people do well, put it all together, and in a certain region of the country get maximum reach, throw a wider net for people. The second thing we hope happens is that we do get lots of interest in these workshops. They are well-founded, they are well-researched, and they work. What they do is empower women, either young girls or teachers, so we do two groups, adults and young women, to look at themselves through STEM, but it's STEM plus. And the plus is psychology. How do you get the best performance out of yourself? How do you mix your mind, your body, your emotions, and it, like an athlete? trying to get the best performance. Everybody might be able to swim a certain speed in the water, but at the Olympics, why does somebody win and somebody else not win? Mm -hmm. It's because they can pull all those pieces together to get the best out of themselves. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. 
all this has to come from a passion that you've developed because of the quote unquote family business. And in your case, is it the family business or is it the indentured servitude you have to a family airport? Tell us a little bit about what home is. So you understand that. Uh, yes, you understand that. Owning a small general aviation airport is rather like having a ball and a chain around your neck. Um, my parents had four children, only one son. Uh, my brother was a TWA captain, retired doing it. His kids, some of his kids are doing it. My husband and I didn't have any kids, and my husband and I stayed living in our area. I'm a teacher by profession. I have a master's degree in exercise physiology. And when my dad died, and it was in a plane accident, I was up for selling, I was up for getting out, but something kept telling me that owning it, and again, this is that indentured servitude thing. Yes. You look at your father's picture on the wall, you want to keep doing it. It's a wonderful little airport. And my brother and I decided that we would carry the torch. So I wanted to find how I could be true to myself and still not feel that flying was my goal. I have a private pilot's license. You had to fly or you couldn't be a Fritchie. I got an advanced ground instructor's rating and everything, but if you ask me would I rather do that or would I rather be working with somebody on the best back handspring they could do, it'd be the best back handspring or the best golf swing or something. So I took this coaching concept and I looked at people who came through the ground school and, and tried to get more women involved and found that I had a role there in coaching. So that's how it came together. And we've done so much at the airport, improving the infrastructure. It's a wonderful little diamond in the rough. Mm. Lots of work, lots of turning the money back into the airport, not taking it to do anything else with. And now's time to make it a real resource in the community that adds value to any community that has a small airport in there. That can only help general aviation. Those airports aren't going to be sold to urban sprawl because the value is in the property. Now the value is going to be in the actual business component of it. So in an industry where too many of our airports are dying, yours is alive? I think it's alive and I think it's absolutely thriving. Winning this grant, I cannot tell you the wonderful opportunities that are popping up. People are coming, a major carrier has asked us whether we'd be interested in having a 727 on the field. I'm thinking, what am I going to do with that? Then all of a sudden, Polytech comes along, one of the schools here, and says, hey, we could turn that into a restaurant and use it with our uh, culinary institute. And all these business plans are popping up because the collaboration is supposed to do that. Well, I thank you very much for your time. For those out in the aviation community that are, are interested in what you're doing or would like to support, or for that matter, visit, how can we find out more about what you're up to? We have two nice websites. One is alexandriafield.com. Everything about the airport from the pilot's perspective as well as the grant. If you go to the bar on the top and click the grant, the drop down brings you everything. Then there's a second separate website called Leaders Take Flight. That's all about those two research projects and about the workshops. Thank you so much. Thank you.